everybody to another awesome episode of Wine, Hops, and Roadstop Shot on Location, deep within the bowels of the Latimer Compound. I am with my best friend, my wife, my co-host, Desiree Bonomo. How are you doing on this wine, on this fine autumn day? I said wine. I got wine on my mind. <laughs> this well, wine day. It's a good day then. <laughs> yeah, I know, but we're not talking about wine this episode. Next episode, we'll talk about wine. Okay. Well, how are you doing? I'm doing good. And what are we talking about today? We're not talking about just beer. No, we're talking about moonshine. That is right. We have a road stop for you guys. It's all the way down to Schuylkill County to the Jack As Distillery. Can't wait for that. That's going to be the next segment. But let's say hello to everybody first. Let everyone know how to get in touch with us, of course, would be through Facebook. Facebook.com slash Wine Hops and Road Stops is our Facebook page where you can talk about us. Talk with us, and uh, twice a week uh, you get to communicate directly with Desiree because she does two things on the site weekly. What do you do? Warm up Wednesday and Fun Fact Friday. That's right, and they're um, they're they're pretty uh, pretty popular things. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I do like the warm up Wednesday because you know we make ourselves a little drink in the middle of the week and it gets us through the week. You know, it's a little, it gets us over that that hump day, and then of course Friday, you know, you just talk about a little little known fact about either beer or food or just. Something fun. Something. Life, the universe, and everything, really. You so, know, dear. Yes, dear. We started Warm Up Wednesday when it was cold, so we could warm up for the weekend. <laughs> yes. And then it was just, you know, warm up for the weekend, not just get warmed up. Right. And now it's going to be back to actually warming up. Yes, yes. Because, <laughs> get, actually yeah, warming up on a Wednesday. You can't tell, though, today, <laughs> since it was still 70 degrees yeah. out. Yeah, we're in the fall, but it's still 70 degrees all week, okay. which is nice. Let's just, yeah, we'll just enjoy it while it's here, right? That's right. Because soon it'll be snowing, I'm sure. So let's get on to the booze news because something is going on in America right now. A lot of things are going on in America right now, but this is something I really <laughs> it's like. Thing. It's a good thing. It's called a beer stein holding. And basically, you just it's, it's, it's holding a beer stein out in front of you like this. Stein holding is a traditional Bavarian strength contest in which competitors hold a full one liter beer stein out in front of their bodies with a straight arm parallel to the ground. You go as long as you can. And the last person holding with a good form is the winner. If you want to know anything more about this, visit ussteinholding.com. All the information for where to compete is there. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, the first round's over, like, as we're airing this show. But uh, it's pretty interesting, yeah, to fill Stein with beer and you hold it out in front of you like this. And that's what you do. I would probably be terrible at this because I'm a weak man. That's very heavy. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if this is a proper Stein, but it's uh, it's heavy and it says Jeff on it, so we're gonna use it. So, uh, just to demonstrate what this is going on. So, if you're um, if you're a burly dude and you wanna, you know, get in on the action, go to that website and check it out. Tell them uh, we sent you. Um, I know there was a couple that a couple uh, events that went on. I think in the Lehigh Valley over the weekend uh, for this contest. So, so there you go. There's your booze news. Now we're gonna move on to some viewer email. We got this actually through Facebook. Uh, I think her name was Tracy. She asks, why we, don't, why we don't talk more about porters and stouts? You like porters and stouts. I love porters and stouts. <laughs> I, 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 I thought we did. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, well, listen, with the colder weather coming, we will. How's that? Absolutely. We will. And for you, we'll do a little porter and stout 101 right now. How's that? Porters came first and stouts came after as a stronger, full-bodied version of a porter. There's not much difference between a stout and a porter. Like back in the old days, like a stout was mainly just a stout porter, a larger, bigger, more alcoholic porter. The main thing is with porters, they use malted barley and stouts primarily are made with unmalted roasted barley. And that is where the coffee flavor comes from. Some also say that stouts and porters are like healthier for you too. You know, because they have a lot of antioxidants, uh, I think it'll, Vitamin B, you know, stuff like that. It's a good, it's a good hearty drink. And, you know, they're, they're, uh, porters and stouts are, are hundreds of years old. So, you know, back in the old days, you know, to keep themselves warm at night, they would drink a, like a thicker, bigger beer. So that's, yeah, it's really hard to drink stouts, though, in the summer when it's warm. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, so as the weather gets colder, I promise you, more stouts. Man, we'll just, you know, we, we've done a whole show about stouts before. I'll tell you that right now. If you've been watching from the beginning, I think it was like our fourth or fifth episode. We did all stouts. <laughs> I think I had Ad I think I had Alan drink like fifteen stouts. <laughs> we, we we did like a like a bracket thing. Yeah. Anyway, 
So there you go. Uh, we will, uh, we promise you more stouts and porters in the future. Promise, and we don't break promises. Now for something completely different. Uh, we're gonna go to break, and when we come back, we're gonna go uh, take a little road trip to uh, Schuylkill County, and we're gonna talk about moonshine with the people that own the Jackass Distillery. Don't go away. There's more White Hops and Road Stops coming up after this. Wine Hops and Road Stops shot on location at the Latimer Compound in Latimer, Pennsylvania. And we have a sponsor today, uh, Schuylkill.org and the Schuylkill County Poor Tour is sponsoring this show. So what we like to do is showcase uh, some places on the Poor Tour. So if you want to know more about the, what Schuylkill County has to offer as far as good booze, basically, uh, go to their website, um, click on their poor tour slash ale trail, and there's a whole bunch of stops. And we stopped at one of them, and that was the Jack As Distillery. And we had a great time there. There were some great people we met. We drank some really, really good moonshine. So, without further ado, check it out. Today's road stop takes us to Spring Glen, Pennsylvania, and to the Jack As Distillery. We're about to talk about moonshine with Clervin and Angela Zimmerman. And moonshine is anything that you distill or make at home right from scratch. Um, moonshine was only a terminology years ago when it was illegal, they made it by the light of the moon. So it is not any specific type, flavor, proof, um, or brand of alcohol. Whether it's a rum or a whiskey, corn, you know, there's just also many types. Now, Jackass Distillery specializes in a large variety of flavored moonshines, whiskey, and rums, and not just your traditional ones either. These are some of our flavored moonshines. This is our cream soda, our scoop birch, and our apple pie. Our apple pie is um, made with local cider that we get. So we put this with our 150 proof sugar shine. Um, he filters it all out and we put a cinnamon stick in it. The Scoop Birch is a 40 proof white birch beer. Then we get this from Catawissa. We get our post mix from Catawissa. We make our birch beer moonshine with this. And the cream soda is our number one seller. Um, it's very versatile. We make a lot of different cocktails with, with this one. So these are our three sugar shines. Um, just some of them that we do, they are 40 proof. Then we have our corn moonshines. Um, when he does that, he does grind all the, our own corn. Um, so he does a 120 proof clear, and then he ages one at, a, at 90 proof, and it is aged. We also do rums and whiskeys. Um, most distilleries do gin, vodka, bourbon. Um, we are different, we don't do that. We do rums, whiskeys, sugar shine. So this is our big seller on our rum. This is called Cotton Candy. Um, this is a 55 proof cotton candy. It's not syrupy sweet, but it does make very good cocktails. Uh, another favorite of everybody is our peach whiskey. It is a 70 proof malt peach whiskey. It's white peach and everybody knows white peach is just a little bit sweeter. So it's a naturally sweet whiskey. Clarvin tells me that the quality of the product comes first, and it's his top priority. That is what sets their moonshine apart from many others. I don't buy any alcohol to add to my own. I ferment and distill everything myself. Like our flavored moonshines are all made with a, a sugar ferment and I ferment it all and double distill it. And then all my whiskeys <clears throat> are made from grain ferments. I grind my own grain, mash my own grain, and do all my own fermenting. And then our rums, of course, are made with sugar and molasses. And I ferment all of that and distill everything. I buy no alcohol to add to it to enhance it. I buy my own corn locally 
from a local farmer. It's just shelled corn. I grind my own corn. And then there's a two and a half to three hour mashing process, which is heating the grain to pull the starches out of it. And it, to me, it just makes a better type of corn whiskey going through all them procedures and doing it than trying to cut any corners or, or rush it or anything like that. I feel it's all about quality. I will not sacrifice quality just to make more. There is times when we do run out of some products, and uh, but you can't rush the ferments or the distilling. It takes a little bit of time, and I'd sooner run out occasionally than cut corners and try to make more. Now, as a relative newbie to moonshine and whiskey, I have to ask what they would recommend to someone who is trying their product for the first time. The first thing I usually try to offer them is our cream soda. Um, I said because it is the most versatile. Um, at 40 proof, it is very good straight up. But we show you so many different ways to, to, to use it as a cocktail also. So I, I introduce people to our 40s first. I always tell them let's start with our, our flavors of 40 um, and we go from there. A lot of people come right up in it. Of course they want to try apple pie moonshine um, and it is good straight. We also show you how to mix that up as a cocktail also. I want you to take our products home and enjoy them. So when you come to a market, any event that we do, you choose something that, that you want to taste. Now you we, we ask you to taste it straight, but then when we take it, we show you also besides drinking it straight, how else you can enjoy it. So we do numerous cocktails. Um, our cotton candy, for instance, you know, you come up, you taste it, 55 proof rum, it may taste a little bitey. I always tell people, you do get the rum bite, cotton candy comes out behind. But then I show them by just adding a little bit of fruit punch to it, how it turns it into a whole other scenario. A lot of people come up and they, they don't know it's a rum. When I tell them it's rum, they're like, well, I don't like rum. And I tell them, well, I'm going to make you like rum. I don't want you to take it home and just look at it. I want you to take it home, enjoy it, so you're back for more. You know, that, that's part of what I do um, with my girls. We design all the cocktails here. Um, I said cream soda is my, my biggest seller. We do numerous, numerous cocktails with that. And birch beer is good straight, but you put that with any kind of birch beer, cranberry juice, it just turns it into something completely different. Well, we have bar rooms that reach out to us. Um, we just did one up in Nescahoning um, at the VFW there. The girl reached out to us and she said, you know, their bar is kind of bland. You got your regular beer drinkers and your same old, same old cocktails. Um, so what we do is we tell the bar, choose six of our, any of our products, and we will design a cocktail to come in and take over. Our cocktails are different and unique. It's not something that you can just go to any bar and order, but most of your bars, they offer the straight up fuzzy navel. Well, with our peach ring, we do a peach ring cocktail with our peach whiskey. So if you'd like to try some of their great flavored moonshines, whiskeys and rums, or maybe even a cocktail, visit Jackass Distillery in Spring Glen or at one of the farmer's markets during the week. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram and watch out for their bar takeovers. And that is this episode's Schuylkill County Port Tour Road Stop. There you go, there was our visit to the Jack Az Distillery and let me tell you something, uh, we brought back two bottles here. This, this Skook Birch is fantastic by itself. But I've been drinking it straight. Uh, it, it's really, really good. And and you picked out something you really like, which is uh, a moonshine that's made out of coffee. Yes. Uh, <laughs> did did you try this yet? Yes. How is it? It's amazing. Okay. I didn't try it yet, though. Can I try it? Yes. Please. Okay. Okay. Hook me up. Because I didn't get a chance to try this yet. Uh, she had a cocktail while we were there, and that was made out of... This stuff here, this uh, coffee moonshine. Mm -hmm. And what else was in? There was something else in it. Cold brew coffee and um, creamer, flavor creamer. Oh, there you go. So it's not just, uh, you know, straight up moonshine. You, you, they make delicious cocktails like you saw in the video. 
Uh, they also do bar takeover, so. Mm, smells like coffee. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll tell you what, though, uh, since I'm not like a coffee flavored lover, like I love coffee in the morning, uh, mixing this with some cold brew coffee is probably where I would go with it. Um, but this here, the Scoop Birch, I just drink that straight. Yeah, that, that tastes like soda. <laughs> mm-hmm. So there you go. There's more One Hops and Road Stops coming up right after this. Welcome back to One Hops and Road Stops. It is time to sample some beer, and not just any beer. I'm talking beer from Schuylkill County. This is beer from Pottsville. Now, before we go any further, let me just say, I really think the city of Pottsville is doing it right. Last week, or last show, I should say, we had uh, Black Rock Brewing. Mm -hmm. They are another brewing company from Pottsville. Fantastic. In the city of Pottsville alone, you got three great breweries that I know of, probably more. Uh, we got Black Rock, we got Yingling, of course, and today we have Pilgaru Brewing, and they gave us a crowler of, what is it, chocolate pumpkin beer? Yes. Skeletons in the Attic, which is, I'm really excited. We haven't tried this yet. It's been, it's been here for a week. So let me tell you just a little bit about the place before we crack open the beer. Pilgrim Rue Brewing is a brand new brewery in Pottsville. They opened their doors in July of 2021. This place is great. They always have something going on there. And there's always a bunch of great beers on tap. Now, I found I did a little uh, little history searching here of, of the of the name uh, Pilgaru because I was like that's a weird name. That actually means Pilgrim's Rest. It's a spring on the Appalachian Trail just north of um, Route 501, and was named by Count Nicholas Ludwig von Zinzendorf, who came across it in 1742. You know, it is a it's a it's a strange name, and I actually had to ask the guy how to pronounce it because I didn't <laughs> want to get it wrong. I maybe maybe I am getting it wrong. Who knows? But I've heard good things. I'm going to put this over here so I don't smash it. I heard good things about this beer from my friends in Skook. So we're going to try it right now. I'm going to crack this open. Oh, big camp. Ooh, yeah. All right, let's pour this out. Got the dog's attention. <laughs> I know, the dog's like, what? what's going on? Their ears popped up. Ooh, beer? <laughs> you can't have any beer. All right. So, like I said, know nothing about this beer other than what it is, you know, what it's, what's it called, what, what the name is. I've never tried it, but I heard a lot about these great beers that these people made. And they, they're, they're home brewers, too. These guys are home brewers who took their hobby and became professionals. And I love that about people. When, they, when you take your hobby and you just like say, you know what, I love this so much, I want to share it with everybody. Now, this is very unexpected. First of all, this is a chocolate pumpkin beer, okay? And it is very light. You know, the color of it, like if I didn't know, just looking at the color, because usually when you hear like a chocolate pumpkin beer, it's usually a darker color. It's like, okay, I know what I'm gonna drink. This is uh, looks like a really light ale almost, but it's not. It is, oh, there's a lot of, lot of chocolate in that nose. It is full of flavor. Mm. Yeah. I'm kind of g glad they gave us a big crowler because that's going to be gone tonight. That's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that. We're. <laughs> as soon as the as soon as the camera shut off, we're finishing that. That is excellent. Now, you're the, you're the pumpkin beer enthusiast. What do you think of this beer? It's not overpowered with pumpkin. There's a lot of chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good balance. Now, usually, when I drink a chocolate pumpkin beer, there's usually one or the other ruins it. It's either there's not enough chocolate, there's not enough pumpkin, or just the combination of it kind of gets a little too sickly sweet. I'm not feeling that with this one. This one is is balanced really nice. I'm just I'm gonna stop taking more. <laughs> yeah. The ABV is seven percent, so it's a little bit bigger. You know, uh, you know, a, a point or two higher than your usual. But uh, I really like this. You guys, I, you guys, you know, uh, thumbs up. I gotta hand it to you. You, you made a Excellent chocolate pumpkin beer. Yeah, very good. Mm. I'll say it one more time, man. 
The rest of these towns around here got to get on the ball because Pottsville got you guys beat right now. So far, everything I've had from Pottsville since we started the seventh season, it's been top notch. No jokers here. No. What are you say? I don't hang with jokers. Oh, okay. No, nah, this is good. We gotta, we're got we going to have to make another trip down there yeah. um, and uh, just sit around and, and drink their beers. And we're going to go back and see these guys, and we're going to go back to see their buddies down there also, Black Rock, who they're, they're doing movie night now down there too. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, the rest of Northeastern Pennsylvania needs to catch up a little bit. These guys are, are doing what they're supposed to do. Fantastic beer. And uh, there's our beer. There's our Schuylkill County Ale Trail beer for the episode. There you go. So don't go away. There's more Wine Hops and Road Stops coming up right after this. All the time we have on Wine Hops and Road Stops just for this episode, but we'll be back in two weeks with more from the Schuylkill County Ale Trail Poor Tour. I am loving this. I, you know, discovering all these places in Schuylkill County that I really didn't know existed. Uh, honestly, you know, we rarely get down there, but now we are getting down there a lot more, and I'm fine with it because there's a lot of uh, great breweries. There's a great distillery down there. Jagaz, those guys were fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Nice people too. Oh, so friendly down there. Absolutely love it. Um, if you like what we're doing, facebook.com slash wine hops and road stops. Uh, join the group. Join the discussion. Tell us where you want us to go. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. Remember, life's too short to drink bad beer. So get yourself a good beer. Drink it with someone you love. Make sure it's from Pottsville pretty much because <laughs> you're going to get a good beer down there. <laughs> All right, see you next time on Wine on the Road Stops. Mm -mm -mm. All right, that crawler is mine. <laughs> mm. I'll do a promo right now since we're pouring beers. Okay. All right, here we go. Promo for Facebook.